news. The Italian government has been accused of breaching international maritime law by preventing migrants from leaving two rescue ships docked in Sicily. Only children and people in need of emergency assistance have been allowed to come ashore. Almost a thousand people aboard several vessels have been at sea off Italy for more than a week. Stephanie Prentice reports. These people are some of the lucky ones, allowed to disembark and seek medical attention as well as refuge. Being able to walk down this gangway, the results of more than a week of back and forth with the Italian government. For the others, thought to be in their hundreds, more watching and more waiting. The charities running these boats say some of those on board were rescued at sea more than two weeks ago. That they're sleeping out in the open, on floors and having to share dwindling medical supplies as well as food rations. Italy's new Prime Minister, Giorgia Maloney, says the governments behind the NGOs running the ships, namely Germany and Norway, should take these migrants in. Norway so far has refused. Pope Francis used a press conference on board a plane to try and mediate, advocating for both the refugees and the Italian government and calling for an international response to rescuing migrants. Every EU government must agree on how many migrants it can receive, because otherwise there are only four countries that receive migrants, Cyprus, Greece, Italy and Spain which are those closest to the Mediterranean. Inland, there are others, Poland, Belarus. For now, though, that international response is fragmented with the people on the ships caught in the cracks. Stephanie Prentice, BBC News.